good morning slash probably you guys probably won't be seeing this in the morning probably good good evening good afternoon and uh happy valentine's day you guys this is a this isn't even really a review this is kind of just a bonus video that i just wanted to post for valentine's day i wanted to give a shout out to some of my people in the review crew show some love for the uh the review crew this is kind of my contribution to the uh share the love 2021 event type thing that i decided uh, I was going to try to do it the review crew, which is just showing love to everybody in the crew. So while we do that, I went over to uh, Krispy Kreme to make it a little more Valentine's-y. Um, I don't usually go to Krispy Kreme or grab nothing like that, but I got they got the Valentine's donuts. So I got the strawberries and cream. Um, my guys over at Curbside Pickup, Nate and Keon, definitely influenced me to go grab the cookies and cream donut because they said... What the hell? They said it was straight fire, so... Um, let me see if I can get that one. And then I got the, just like the chocolate one, just to switch it up a little bit. So I just got three and three. I'm going to save the others for, I'm going to do one of each. And then I'll have my uh, my girl and me will eat the rest of them later tonight. But uh, let's just go ahead and show y'all these cute little donuts. So this is the uh, chocolate sprinkle donut, I think. And this is the strawberries and cream. This one I heard is fire. So real quick, I guess we can just start out right there. My guys, Nate and Keon over at Curbside Pickup. The energy of these dudes is just absolutely crazy, right? These guys are some of the nicest, most pure-hearted people. Today, they uploaded a video where they were just going out and handing roses to people. And this isn't the first time that they've done it. They've done videos like that, these little heartwarming videos all the time. So you guys, go check out Curbside Pickup, whether it be for the food, the entertainment, the laughs, or the cool videos that they do like that. They're always giving, they're always helping. Check out Curbside Pickup, all right? Another guy I wanna shout out to is my main man, Snack King Cole, seriously. He, he did these too, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most people in the crew actually, I believe it or not. Um, but I'm gonna put a link to every, you, you guys already know, the link to everybody will be down below. But guys, my guy Snack King Cole just killed it with this hashtag shorts video on that honey bun breakfast sandwich. And let me be honest with you, man, I think I'm gonna have to go and try it. That was, that looked fire. And I'm glad that that video is blowing up for you, man. Um, but th those are a couple people I just wanted to talk about real quick. Let's go ahead and try the strawberries and cream donut. I heard this got a lot of flavor, but let's just talk, uh, eat as we talk, all right? So let's try this one. Mmm. Check out that inside. Woo! Now, gotta be honest, man. That is sweet. That is sweet. Speaking of sweet, do you guys want to know another sweet channel that you guys can check out? Check out my girl Ashley Pino Jalapeno. Uh, you guys are not going to regret it. She's absolutely awesome. Does more mukbang style stuff, but she also sprinkles in some reviews. So she's a little, she got it all for you guys, but she's, she's vegan. Is it vegan or vegetarian? I'm sorry, Ash. I can't quite remember. But she don't eat she don't eat meats or nothing like that. But her she still finds a way to just make these absolutely awesome videos. So guys remember to go check out Ashley Pino, Jalapeno, okay? I'm sure she would love something like this. I can't remember if she's done the review on this or not, but this, look at that. This stuff right here is like the sweetest sweet I've ever sweeted. It's pretty sweet. It's almost cringy sweet, like in a, in a good way though. Like, I think that's why I got the chocolate as the other choice to kind of take away from the crazy sweetness over here. But Nate and Ken were 100% right when they said there's so much flavor, you know, so much flavor in this donut. You guys gotta try it out. I just figured it was something new, you know. So that leads me into my next guy, my brother. Something new. He is probably the single biggest success story in the review crew right now. When I subscribed to him, I believe I was like his 50th subscriber. I'm not even joking. 50th subscriber. And that dude's at like, I, I, honestly, I need to check, but I think he's at like 1.8K. You guys, the review crew has only been a thing for what, seven months? We've gained over 8,000 subscribers and damn near 1,700 of those are from something new. So you guys got to check out something new. He's putting out content even when there's nothing really that crazy new out. He finds something new. It's crazy. He's like one of those people I watch and I'm like, damn, this dude actually keeps finding content. I'm sitting over here trying to struggle, trying to find what I can go and review that's still relevant. And this dude is just pumping them out. So you guys got to check something new. Kind of reminds me of my other guy, Dub Zero. 
Dub Zero kind of does the same thing. Uh, he's been more focused on the business side of things lately, but that dude is another guy who, like, he gets that review done the day it comes out or the day before. I don't know how he does it. I don't know if he's just got some crazy hookups with someone, but Dub Zero, if you guys are looking for, like, a review and you want it quick, you want it, like, the day of, you guys are going to want to subscribe to my guy Dub Zero, okay? My guy Dub Zero. We got lots of guys, but we also got a few other girls that I want to show some love to. My girl Brenda literally just came back yesterday, okay? Um, yesterday, she came back with that awesome mukbang she did. She's also a mukbang, so you guys check her out. I don't think she really does reviews, but I heard maybe... I don't know this, so don't don't hold me don't hold me to it. But I heard that she might consider doing a couple reviews here and there. I don't know, but she's a mukbanger. So you guys are gonna mukbang. Am I supposed to say mukbang? I, I'm gonna call it mukbang because it just makes sense. I live in America. That's how it rolls off of my tongue. Okay, I call it mukbang. I know a lot of people call it mukbang. It just don't make a lot of sense to me. I'm sure it has some kind of like Asian descent to that name. But I'm dating. I don't pronounce the T in my own name. All right. So, but anyway, you guys are going to want to check out Brenda. She is back. Um, we got the review crew collaboration coming out super soon, uh, which is actually with my guy, uh, Trav Tries. He kind of he kind of set this one up. So on the 21st of February, which is literally a week from today, you guys are going to want to be checking that out. Shout out to my guy, Trav Tries. The vet just hit 3K. Shout out to you. Another guy over 3K. My guy, Big Daddy's World. All right. Big Daddy's World. Uh, I think he's at like three point. He's like getting up to like three point five three. I can't even remember. Is he close to four? I mean, you guys are growing before my eyes. I love this content. You guys are gonna want to tell all these people. I promise. Okay. I I'm hoping I can mention everybody in this video, but we got fourteen of us, so hope I'm I'm probably gonna have to miss a few. But another one, uh, my guy Muster Bust. He probably did these as well. I'm not 100% sure, man. I'm trying to remember. I feel like these have been out for quite a while now, so I'm kind of just thinking of more, the more recent reviews I've seen of these. But like. Buster Bus, talk about a YouTube veteran again. That dude is inching towards 10,000 subscribers. You guys are going to want to check out Mustard Bus. You got you got you can't forget about the veterans, man. Trav tries Mustard Bus. My guy Josiah the showstopper. He, I mean, veterans, you guys got to go show some love. Salute to them. Sub subscribe to them. Like them, all right? They're worth it. I promise you guys. They they their content has gotten better and better and better over the years. So you guys don't want to check out Mustard Bus, okay? Um, let's see. Another one, my girl Kikamoni. The 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 Del Taco Queen is what I like to call her. Me and her actually had a have a collaboration coming out in a couple of days that you guys are gonna have to look out for. Uh Kikamoni, another small channel that's growing and growing. And you know, she's kind of been in and out, kind of focusing more on the personal things, and that's hundred percent cool because I mean, we don't care, right? We just want people to do their best. But Kigamoni is one of my favorite low-key channels. You guys are going to want to go check her out. Definitely needs more exposure than what she got because she actually does decent. The way she describes things, she does such a good job. It reminds me of my guy, Steve Reville. Okay, my guy, Steve Reville. My guy, Steve. Let me just say, I think Steve, as far as if you want an in-depth review, that you can kind of taste it as he's describing it. If you want a great description on the review, you guys are going to want to check out Steverville. He he's a vet too. He I mean seriously, he the way he describes things just makes perfect sense. Like I can taste it as he's talking about it. Let's go back to this donut. Just saying. Mm. Who have I missed? I know I've missed somebody. Oh, how about the newest member of the review crew? My guy, Daryl Dupin. The newest man, just hitting the big 1K. Again, shout out to you, Daryl. Appreciate you, bro. Um, another channel that you guys are going to have to watch. He, I call it, everyone here, we all, okay, this is just a me thing, but I call him the mustache dude because he has that signature old school, like the curly mustache. Man, it makes me want to try it one day. I just don't think it's long enough yet. I usually shave my mustache, but... Daryl, another quality, quality uh, channel, hence why uh, we added him into the review crew. The dude is absolutely awesome. Again, guys, the links to everybody's channels is going to be down in the description. All right, they're going to be down there. I'm just trying to think if I've missed anybody. I know there's probably someone in the review crew watching this right now, just going. That bastard didn't mention me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think if I got everybody. 
Um, here's a new announcement that not a lot of people know about yet, but I'm just going to do it because it's my life. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Ricard, she is officially a part of the review crew as our social media manager. Social media, more meaning Instagram, but she's going to be running the Instagram page here soon. So basically, Liz is now a part of the review crew as well. So you guys are going to want to check out Liz on Instagram. Follow her on Instagram too. Why not? Just make it. Just make it fun. She's uh she's been going through some stuff and she's killing it. So absolutely shout out to Liz too. I know you're not technically in, uh, you don't upload content, but she deserves all the love uh, as well. I'm just trying to think if I've forgotten anybody. Oh my God. The only beard better than mine, <laughs> even though mine is nasty, straggly today, is my guy. Who's your daddy? How did I forget who's your daddy, bro? I'm trying to work on a collab with him coming up too, hopefully. But uh, my guy, who's your daddy? Another super like crazy underrated channel that y'all have got to go check out. You have to check out who's your daddy. He's he's let's see, I think he's at, he just crashed 600, maybe 700. He's he's getting there. But he deserves so much more. You guys check him out because once you do, he do, he does cool videos. He involves his family a lot. He does snack taste tests from around the world. He's actually doing some really cool quality content. Beautiful thumbnails, uh, beautiful beard, beautiful man. You guys are gonna have to check out who's your daddy. I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't forget him. I'm gonna try this little this little heart guy right here. This thing. Oh, that's for sure. I thought it was gonna be a gummy. That's just a hard piece of sugar. And then there's me, of course. Subscribe to me, too. I'll put my own link in the description for fun. Subscribe to me. Check me out on social media at Dayton.yt. I just want to share the love today. Like a little, little happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm sure I'm missing somebody. And whoever whoever I might be missing, I really, really do apologize. Maybe I'll go through and uh, make sure I get you at the end of this video. If I haven't mentioned you yet. But I think I got, a, I think I got most of them. At least the ones that just initially are just popping to my head right now. Um... But you guys, I appreciate you. And then in the very end, this is hashtag, hashtag share the love 2021. All right. And we cannot share this love without you, the viewers, the people watching this video right now, the people who have stuck and actually watched me eat for 12 minutes, barely trying to get down this donut. All you guys absolutely love you guys. You guys are awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you guys have a good and safe one. And I'll see y'all next time. Actually, no, I won't because... I forgot to show you this this chocolate one. I'll review this chocolate one in a second, all right? Stay tuned. Let's go. Well, you guys, I went through and watched the video, and it turns out I didn't miss nobody. And I'm actually very impressed that I didn't miss anybody because I thought I definitely would considering we have so many people, so many awesome content creators, but I got them all, which just goes to show how much I love you. So happy Valentine's Day. Real quick, let's do a review on this uh, last. This is the, uh, the chocolate heart chocolate sprinkle heart something like that let's go ahead and try this i think it just has a regular cream filling so let's try it out these were two dollars each by the way kind of small i got a half dozen cost me 12 bucks i can't tell what type of i should have done my research on this i'll be honest can't tell what type of cream that is it's not normal whipped cream is it Boston cream? It might be Boston cream. It's good though. Um, I guess if, if you guys are here to actually watch me eat this, I'm sorry. This was more of a just a love video for my for my family. But um, honestly, for the strawberries and cream, that was absolutely great. It was a little too sweet for me, so that's a four out of five. And this one is pretty basic. This tastes like basically tastes like a normal donut, but it's hard to make a donut taste not much like a normal donut. So. This one's gonna be a three and a half out of five, all right? So there's a little bonus. But I just wanted, I stopped the video. I wanted to make sure I had everybody involved. And I did. So shout out to you guys. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day 2021. You guys remember to share the love. It's been, you know, last year's a hard year. We're gonna make 2021 the greatest. Shout out to the review crew. The biggest thing on YouTube in the foodie community. I can guarantee it. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.